Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, PC Error Fix. If you are seeing the error message could not find compatible graphics device due to the following missing feature, hardware tiled resources tier 2 while playing the Halo Infinite game then this video tutorial is for you. In this video I will show you how to fix Halo Infinite DirectX 12 error message. Below has a look at the solutions you need to try. But before starting with the detailed steps in this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel also ring the bell to get notified when another video lands. Solution 1. Install the latest DirectX 12 version. Check if your device has installed the latest DirectX 12 version, if not then here you need to install it. Press Windows plus R key and in the Run dialog box, enter Xtiag, and click OK. Check if your computer already has DirectX 12 update to its latest version. If you do not find DirectX 12 installed on your PC, you need to manually download it from the official website. After downloading install it on your PC. Solution 2, Change Halo Infinite Game Priority If Halo Infinite does not get adequate resources due to a lack of priority settings, then changing the game priority may works for you. Right-click on the taskbar and select the Task Manager option from the list. Go to the Details tab and from the list, search for Halo Infinite Process and right-click on it. Then, click on Set Priority. Now, change the priority settings from real-time to high priority Close the task manager and restart your system. Solution 3. Update the graphic driver. Updating the graphics driver solved the compatibility issues with the game and may solve the DirectX 12 error on Halo Infinite. Hit the Windows key and type Device Manager in the search box. Click on Open to launch it. Next, double-click on the display adapters to expand it. Now, Right-click on Intel RHD Graphics 620, repeat these steps for all outdated drivers. Then, click on the Update Driver option. Next, tap on the Search Automatically for Driver Software option. Now, your system searches and finds the best available driver on your computer and installs it. Moreover, you can also update the audio as well as other system drivers easily using the Automatic Driver Easy tool. You can download the tool by clicking the link in the description box. Solution 4. Reinstall Microsoft Visual Studio C++ Uninstalling and then reinstalling the Microsoft Visual Studio C++ package might do the trick to solve the problem. Follow the steps shown. Go to the Windows search menu. Type Apps and Features in the search box, and click on Open. In the Apps and Features window, find Microsoft Visual C++. Click on any one package at a time and tap on Uninstall. Follow these steps for all the packages on your system and continue with the upcoming prompts to uninstall them. When you find the packages are uninstalled successfully, click on the Start key and type the command prompt. Click on Run as Administrator to launch the command window. Then, type the following commands and click on the Enter. dism.exe slash online slash cleanup image slash start. Component. Cleanup. Wait until the dism scan is complete and restart your Windows PC. Then, launch your browser and go to the official Microsoft website. Scroll down the screen and download the latest Visual C++ redistributable files for Visual Studio 2015, 2017, and 2019. Wait until all the Visual C++ redistributable files are downloaded on your PC. Install every package in my downloads by following the on-screen instructions. Finally, restart your PC. Solution 5. Reinstall Halo Infinite Game. If still seeing the error then uninstalling and reinstalling the Halo Infinite game is recommended. Launch Steam on your Windows PC. 
and click on it to launch the app on your device. Go to the top menu bar and switch to the library. Right click on the Halo Infinite game and click on the manage. Now, click on the uninstall. Later, confirm the upcoming prompt by pressing the uninstall button as shown. Once the Halo Infinite game is uninstalled from Steam, restart the PC and launch Steam then, right click on the Halo Infinite game and tap on install. So, that's all about the Halo Infinite DirectX error. Let me know in the comment section, if the fixes directed works for you. Also do like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.